Hello guys, welcome back to Mesh Academy. In this video, we are going to deploy an AKS cluster using the Azure portal. Then we're going to run a multi-container application with a web front end and a Redis instance in the cluster. Also, we're going to monitor the health of the cluster and ports that run the application. Before we dive in, what is Azure Kubernetes? AKS is a managed Kubernetes service that lets you quickly deploy and manage clusters. So once you sign into Azure portal, you're going to click on the blade menu right here and you're going to click on all resources and you're going to click on create. Then you're going to click on compute and you will see Kubernetes services and you're going to click create. Or you can just tap in the search bar AKS and you should see Kubernetes services. Okay, so let's go ahead and click create. So now just make sure you have a subscription selected. Then we're going to create a new resource group by clicking right here, create new. So now let's give it a name, my resource group. Then we're going to click OK. So regarding the cluster preset configuration, we're going to leave it as standard. So feel free to go ahead and click on it so you can take a look on the different uh, preset configuration. But for this demo, we're just going to leave it as default. So let's go ahead and provide the cluster name. We are going to call it my AKS cluster. Okay, so now for the region, I'm going to select US East, but feel free to select any region you want. Okay, so now we're going to leave everything as default. Let's go ahead and click Review plus Create. So now the validation is complete. So let's move on, click on Create. So this process can take up to 50 minutes. I'll go ahead and pause this recording and then I'll come back once it's complete. Okay, great. The deployment is complete. So now let's take a quick overview of our cluster by clicking go to resource. As you guys can see, this is the resource group we created and this is the location is US and currently the status is running. So now we're going to connect to the cluster using Azure CLI. So to launch Azure CLI, you're going to have to click on this icon right here. So for the first time, you're going to ask you to create a storage like this. So what you have to do, you just have to click on create a storage. Okay, great. If we see welcome to Azure Cloud Shell, meaning you are successfully connected to Azure CLI. So now let's connect to our cluster. By running this command, I'm going to share with you guys. So now let's verify the connection to the cluster using this command to return a list of cluster nodes. Okay, so this is the output. Just make sure the status is ready. So now let's run the application. We're going to use the manifest to create all objects needed to run the Azure Vault application. This manifest includes two Kubernetes deployments, the sample of Azure Vault Python application and a Redis instance. So now let's go ahead and create the file name as your vote. I'm going to use this command. I had a code ready to go. I'm going to share with you guys. Then we're going to make sure we click right here to save. So let's go ahead and deploy the application. I'm going to use this command. This command is going to deploy the application. So now let's go ahead and test the application. I'm going to use this method to get the public IP address. Okay, so you guys can see this is the external IP. Let's go ahead and copy that. Let's go ahead and open another window. And we're going to paste this IP address right here and hit enter. As you guys can see, this is the first application, Azure Vault application. Just gonna click on it. And then let's go back to Azure portal. So if we go to the app insight on the monitoring, so now let's click on add filter. Let's select namespace. Then we're going to select this one, all but curve system. Okay. Then we're going to click on container. Okay, so you guys can see this is the Azure Vault back and this is the Azure Vault front. So if you want to view the logs for the Azure Vault front, you're going to have to select it. Now let's click right here. So this is all the logs. So let's go ahead and delete the cluster. 
to avoid any Azure charge. So we're gonna go back to the Azure CLI. So if you do Control plus C, we're gonna bring you back to the command line and then we're gonna run this command to delete the cluster. So now we're gonna enter Y to accept and then hit enter. Please like, subscribe, comment. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.